from the country. I've got a draw. There was no tiptoeing around me being a country artist. I can outrun it or I can embrace it and I can try and make my version of country music and that's what I plan on doing. It's what I am doing. This is the street I grew up on. This is the house that built me, if you will. This is where I started writing songs, it's where I started singing, it's where I researched all my favorite artists. Our neighbors were always super helpful to us. How are you? My mom passed away last May, mm. but she would sit out in her porch swing and listen to you sing. So you touched a lot of lives you didn't even know. A lot of great musicians have come from Georgia. There's just a spirit that the mountains have that isn't everywhere else. I really resonate more with an Appalachian spirit and breeze. There's kind of a constant movement to the trees and the earth, and I really connect well with the energy that flows through the world. I think that's where I feel most grounded is when I'm around things that are bigger than me. For a long time, I equated the spirit to religion. So I used to come in here and play and write songs and just kind of be by myself. Been a long time since I played here. It really felt like I kind of had to like force my way out of this ball of expectations. I kind of thought that it was saying goodbye to these people and to this place forever. They are still welcoming me. They're still loving me. I don't think that I ever really knew that that was an option to have the best of both worlds. I've known Peyton her entire life. This community has always supported its own more than anything. And I think with Peyton being just a hometown girl, you see Peyton and you just see Dawson County. We're at Dawson County High School. This is where I grew up playing basketball. It's where I learned to play guitar. It's where I started writing songs. This is the locker room. I played basketball here my whole career. <laughs> when Peyton first started mentioning music, none of us are musically inclined in our family, so it was a challenge. This past weekend, we got to experience her Opry debut. We're still reeling. I don't have the words yet to articulate what an experience that was for us. When I got the call for the Opry, the first thing I said was I need to call my mom because I think that all of my good qualities come from you. The tenacity, the drive, the determination, the focus. There are students here at the high school that still know you and know that you went here and that you were a part of this community and pursue their strengths and carve their way. I always wanted to see my name on the pool room sign. It's really an honor in this county to get to be up there. This is the legendary spot in town. Everybody who come to watch the races. I worked across the street at the sporting goods store when I was in high school. It's just a great place. It's got a lot of history, a lot of love, a lot of spirit. It's just a great example of how supportive this community is. Well, I'm really always been proud of this girl here. You make Dawsonville famous all over again. The love and support of this county has just encouraged me to keep going. I always felt like I could come back here and be welcomed, be loved, be supported. They do a really good job of believing in you if you believe in yourself. And I know that if everything hits the fan, I've got somewhere to come where people are gonna love me no matter what.